12 volt versus a nine inch. What are the basic differences? Today, I'm gonna go over a few of them. Hi, I'm John Henson for Curry Enterprises, and today I wanna go over some of the differences between a GM 12 volt and a Ford nine inch. Now, basically, you're gonna take a look at it and realize, well, there's obviously basic differences in its construction, right? So this is a cast center. 12 bolt, basically to get to doing any type of modifications to it or to build it, you're gonna have to pop off the back cover and get into it from the backside. On a nine inch, it's actually called a third member or a dropout, right? So this is actually serviceable from the front. So you can completely remove this from the housing without taking it out of the car and you can do a gear swap on it, you can inspect your gears, you can work on it on your bench, opposed to this having to stay in the car and actually work on it on a lift. On a 12 bolt, the pinion support is actually built into the casting. In a nine inch, the, the big differences there are gonna be that you have a bolt on and off pinion support that actually has two bearings that are gonna support your pinion gear. And then in addition on the nine inch, if you look deep into the casting into the center section there, it's actually got what's called a pocket bearing. So not only do you have the large tapered bearings that are in the pinion support, supporting your, your pinion gear, it's also supported by this pinion bearing way back here that's called a pocket bearing. In a 12 bolt, you've got the single bearing up front, and in order to set this up, it's a bit more laborious. What you've got to do is you've actually got to shim it right behind the crown here, and then press on a bearing, and then set it up into your center section, and then if it's not correct, you've actually got to press that bearing off and shim it again so you have to kind of keep going back and forth and back and forth whereas with the nine inch you don't have that issue with the nine inch the shims are actually after the bearings go on and so the center section is much easier to do also when you're setting up your carriers the caps and the way that the carrier sets up in a 12 bolt you have to use shims so you're going to shim your carrier left and right the nine inch you've actually got your spanners on the side here and you can screw them in and out to actually set your carrier setting here. So there's no shims there either. So it's really simple to set up. It's something, again, that can be done very easily in your home garage or on a bench. Now your typical GM 12 bolts are available in a 30 spline and 33 spline. One of the beauties of a nine inch is there's a lot to choose from. We can build this from a 28 spline to a 31 spline, 35 spline, 40 spline. So the strength differences between the two and the capabilities are much greater with a nine inch. So if you have a car that's making a thousand horsepower, a 1200 horsepower, a lot of horsepower, even a little horsepower, we can cater this to the build. Whereas with the 12 bolt, you really only have two options. So in the muscle car world, I'd say a 12 bolt on a 33 spline axle is probably good to about 600 horsepower. Whereas with a nine inch, the options are endless. We can really build this to 1,000 horsepower plus, given the application. There's some major differences also in just the ring gears themselves. So in a 12 bolt versus a nine inch, if you can take a look at this here, there's some definite differences in just the size of the ring gear, right? Your 12 bolt versus your nine inch. Look at the length of the tooth, right? Much longer teeth on the, on the nine inch than there is on the 12 bolt. One of the reasons for that is, on a nine inch, the actual pinion gear sits much lower. It's actually called a hypoid gear. And where that strength comes into play is, is because it sits lower, there's more tooth engagement between the pinion gear and the ring gear. More tooth engagement equals more high horsepower durability, and it's just a stronger gear. Whereas with the 12 bolt, your pinion actually sits a little bit higher on the ring gear and there's less tooth engagement between your pinion and your ring gear. Another big difference between the 12 bolt and the nine inch is actually gonna be how the axle is held into the rear end. Now in a 12 bolt, there's a C-clip on the end of the axle shaft, and that's actually what holds in the axle in the center section. So in order to remove that axle shaft, you've got to remove the back cover, drain out all the oil, pull off the center pin, remove the C-clip, and then you can pull your axle out. In a nine inch, it's actually held in by a retainer plate that's out on the end of the axle, way out on the end of the housing. So four bolts, pull your axle out, and you're done. So that way you can take your third member out and do any work to it that you may need to do. 
The beauty of that is in a 12 bolt, if you break a axle shaft, and when you break an axle shaft, it usually happens out on the end by the splines. The whole axle can actually evacuate and reject out the side of the car, doing some major damage to your vehicle. Whereas within a nine inch, if you break an axle shaft, everything stays inside the housing and your wheel and tires stay bolted on. I hope this goes over some of the basic differences between the 12 bolt and the nine inch. If you have any questions in regards to what might be best for your application, please feel free to give us a call, send us an email, or leave a comment below. You want to see more videos like this? Subscribe here. For more tech videos, click here. And for more Curry content, click here. Thanks for watching, guys.